George Clooney was the driving force behind Hope for Haiti Now. He joins us from Los Angeles. Uh, George, how did the telethon do so far? 60 countries, six continents, 58 domestic networks, 60 international networks. I mean, how did you organize this? How did you get it up and running? Well, uh, one of the one of the things we did, the first thing we did was uh, I, I called uh, the people at MTV and they were uh, kind enough to start the ball rolling. And then it seemed as if everybody wanted to participate. All the networks immediately jumped in. And once they jumped in, uh, we were able to get other networks and other networks. Eventually, I think we even got the, the uh, Chinese government to allow it to run in China. So we've had a, I, I think there's an outpouring because of the images that you're showing, I think there's an outpouring across the world of uh, people understanding that as bad as it is for them, uh, it's nowhere near as bad as it is where you are right now. How quickly will the money donated tonight, you think, get to relief organizations? Well, that was a, one of our big, what was most important was that we were using organizations that actually are on the ground and up and running. You know, Red Cross, obviously, Oxfam, World Food Program, places like that. Uh, it's important for us to make sure that it's an influx of money immediately because, uh, you know, there isn't much else we can do except make sure that there's there's money and uh, and begin the process of healing because the, you know, everyone here feels very helpless otherwise. Yeah, do you, I mean, there, as you addressed in the beginning of the program, I and mean, there's a lot of people who feel like their donations, you know, aren't going to make a difference in a country where, you know, as you pointed out, 80 percent of the people live on less than two dollars a day. What do you say to people about, you know, the, the, the effect that their money can have? Well, I, I, it's obvious. And everyone. Is she OK? Um, yeah. Yeah. No, he's all right. It's, it's, I think he needs a little water. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, George. Well, no, it's. Uh, it's obvious that uh, that anything, a five dollar donation from um, you know three hundred million people, is a lot of money. It, you you can you can find a way to do it, make a huge difference to a, a country, and particularly a country that's as poor as Haiti. Uh, and it's going to need a lot of work. It's going to be the the biggest issue, and you will have the same problem as the rest of us. Will be keeping it uh, uh, keeping it uh, front page news. Not now, because it is now, but three or four or five or six months from now. That's the trick, and that's why it has to be sustained, and that's part of our job. Yeah, and I mean, that's what, you know, a lot of the big relief organizations, which, which you guys are supporting tonight, um, you know, they have, they're going to have a presence here for a long time to come. But as we were, as sure. we were talking uh, with Gabriella, a lot of these surgeries that these kids are having, you know, it's, it's amputations now, but it, it needs follow-on care. It needs follow-on surgeries. And, and that is the fear, that, that six months from now, people are going to be like, oh, you know, Haiti, that was six months ago. It didn't, didn't we deal with that? But, but the answer is no, because, the, you know, there's so much infrastructure that needs work here. There's, there's, the needs are so great. Well, historically, that's true. I mean, uh, uh, certainly Katrina in the of most recent times, Darfur, you could talk about, uh, you know, we'll, you can have a big rally, but then after it's over, people feel as if, okay, I've done my bit and that's it. And it, it is no longer part of the, the, the conscious, the collective. And so our job um, in, the, uh, in all of our industries, the, the industries that are seen by people, is to remind people of it and to keep, to keep it up until it's healthy. And that's a lot of work, and it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, well, I certainly hope to come back a lot and continue reporting on this. Uh, George, appreciate uh, all you've done. Thank you very much for joining us tonight.